Years ago, someone said to me, reminded me of a phrase which I've used ever since. And the phrase is that you only catch flack when you're over the target. If you say something that is problematic to the powers that be, you will be cut down and shut up and moved over and shadow banned and demonetized and shelved only if you say something which is, let's see, oh yes, true. If you say something which is completely devoid of any kind of rational thought, nobody cares. But if you say something that really puts them into the position of thinking like, wait a minute, wait a minute, this, 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 this is, this is, this guy's got it right. Let's say there's a, a pandemic. Let's say there's a virus. Let's say there's some health concern. And the official narrative is this, but you come along with something else, an alternative theory, or maybe an explanation, or maybe something that somehow, I guess, perhaps, maybe, forces people to, to look at things differently. Maybe, maybe in that respect, people will say, wait a minute. He's on to something, and that's not good. So you will be shut up. You will be shut up and closed down. It's a way it's always good. You only take flack when you're over the target. It, it's, it, it goes without saying. So it's almost like if you want to have something verified, there should be a, a version of Snopes or PolitiFact or something which tells you how many times you've been debunked. That tells me what you're saying is the truth. Or at least that's something you're saying, which is making a lot of people really worried about something. And I find that to be fascinating. And why do you think that is? Well, it's been like that since day one. My whole life, my whole life, my uh, life from I was when I was five years old and Kennedy was assassinated through Bobby Kennedy and MLK and Malcolm X. There was always a story like, well, that's the official story. John Lennon. And then little by little, we started to learn more things. Vietnam. People said, would you stop bringing up this Gulf of Tonkin stuff? Would you stop saying that this is, stop saying the Gulf of Tonkin was a, some kind of a conspiracy, well, it is a conspiracy theory, that some, some lie to get us into Vietnam. It's true. And I say, uh, verify this later on. And the more we, oh, because the, let me tell you something, social media is just, I mean, yes, yes, they use it to absolutely, absolutely um, nail us to the wall when it comes to shutting us up and shutting us down and providing their own propaganda but it opened up a can of worms. There were people who would have never known about MK Ultra or Operation Paperclip or Operation Ajax. You would have never learned anything about that. Nobody went to the library. Nobody ever heard this. It was, like, it, it was this explosion of like a supernova of information that told you what you thought was true, was it? And then people in my generation know that we never, ever, ever dismiss or remove or absent ourselves from that which we believe to be obviously wrong. We're in the position right now where we're saying, you know what, this doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And we go with that. We go with that. If, if, if something stinks, follow it. You know what's so funny? We live in this world right now where we claim to be lovers of true crime. Oh, yes, true crime, this true crime, this true crime, true crime. Okay, here's a real true crime. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want that true crime. What are you talking about? Well, no, 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 no. We have learned throughout history, through, of course, through the dread internet, William Cohen, I think in 97, don't quote me in this, talked about the weaponization and the utilization of, of, of weather and uh, things like, um, you know, uh, earthquakes and, and volcanoes. And 
hitting Tesla, sending Tesla waves and energy at tectonic points and creating tsunamis and MK Ultra mind control, uh, experimentation, thought control. Annie Jacobson has just brought us into so much information as to some of the wildest stuff, which is fascinating to me that governments and militaries all over the world would be involved in ESP. And, and yet, yet when somebody says, do you think that maybe some governmental or dark force might be responsible for triggering, causing, exacerbating, initiating mass destruction? Oh, no, 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 no. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. What? That's crazy talk. What are you even what are you even getting at? That's when you're on to something. Do you realize that the Zapruder film wasn't seen until I think Geraldo Rivera in 75 or 76, Good Night America, whatever the show was. Nobody even saw that. And yet they weren't buying the Warren report since then. And you've all seen the memoranda. You've all seen how a lot of folks said, you know, we, we've, we've got to figure out some way to kind of tamp down this, this stuff. Nobody's buying the Warren Report. Gee, I wonder why. That was another one, too. And you will never understand the connection of the Warren Report, Gerald Ford, the pardon, and how all of this works. In, but nobody wants to talk about it because that's a conspiracy theory. You see how they got you trained? Oh, no, no, don't go there. That's where I go. Tell me where you don't want me to go. Tell me, tell me. Where you don't want me to go. If you've ever had a cat and you buy a, a scratching pose for the cat, and the cat says, "Do you like me to do that? You, is is this the device you want?" Yeah. I kind of like those speakers you have there. Remember the old days when you had speakers? What? Yeah, I like the couch. The couch would be no, 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 no. Use use this. Use this scratching pad. This device. No. That's the way I am. The news presents this fact to me, and they go, "This is what you want." No, no, no this is what happened regarding Lahaina. Oh no, this is this is no, this is this is what happened regarding the 2020 election. No, 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 this, no, no, this, this, this is it. No, 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 you got it all wrong. No, no, this is what's going on. No. And we are looking at coming up very soon. The 22nd, right? Anniversary of 9-11. Oh, never forget, they say. Never forget. Don't make me laugh. Never forget. Never ask you. Shut up. Memorize the official narrative and move on. Move on. Today I was watching. I don't know why. It was some, some weather Weather expected in California, the likes of which nobody has ever seen in a hundred years. Cyclones and stuff that is like, what the hell is going on? Or don't go there. Don't, no, no, no. Don't ask any questions. Don't ask any questions. Don't ask about weather, geoengineering, and dimming, which is now it's it listen, it's 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 been acknowledged since day one. It's been online, but you you were looking under chemtrails. Don't ask whether you whether the metallicization of the atmosphere could in any way be used as a means of, of exacerbating or igniting or whatever. No, 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 no. Don't ask anything. Go down the list. Ask yourself. The most interesting things we could be talking about are the stuff that we are told shut up and don't talk about. Masks, vaccines, um, diseases, 5G, 9-11, uh, um, can we go back, JFK? Just the stuff that's interesting. The stuff that they're telling us, don't ask any questions about. And and the thing which I found so interesting, and I've been telling people for the longest time, look, may, maybe you found this. I've seen a lot of talk about direct energy weapons and the like, but I don't see anything that proves anything. But I'd like to talk about this. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't talk about that. No, no, no. Good. I'm on it. I'm like that cat. Oh, you don't want me to scratch that? Good. I'm scratching that. Oh, you don't want me to go here? 
I'm going with that. But, but with proof and truth and a focused targeting of evidence and not hypothesizing. All right, dear friends, have a great and a glorious day. Please like this video. Subscribe to Lionel Nation on YouTube. We love those metrics. It helps tremendously. Please hit that little bell so you're notified of live streams and new men. You know what it is. This little notification bell is a wonderful thing. And also, let me tell you something. I've got it at LionelMedia.com. You can subscribe to my uncensored, culturally inappropriate private channel. So in any event, dear friends, I ask you in the meantime, to thank. I thank you again but I ask you to comment, comment, comment as you see fit. Let me try it again.